do you need to be good at maths to pass the CFA exam? Hey, I'm not from a commerce background. I've done engineering. I've done arts. But I want to switch to finance. Can I do CFA? Will it make sense? Will I be able to do it? Let's answer all these questions in this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. Today, I'm going to be answering two of the most common questions asked on my channel. Number one, do we need to be good at maths to pass the CFA exam? Number two, can we do CFA if we're from a non-finance background? Will it be too difficult? Will we not be able to manage? Etc. Etc. So let's get to answering them. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please, please, please take that one minute and hit the subscribe button. If you've ever found value in any of my videos, then please, guys, help me reach where I want to reach. And if you're already a part of this channel, then thank you so much for joining me in my journey. I hope we stay together till the end of time. So let's start with answering the first question that is, do you need to be good at math to pass the CFA exam? The answer is very simple, no. CFA and maths are not directly correlated. I will not say that they are absolutely not related because CFA does have numbers, it has calculations, it has those things, but it is not the hardcore maths that we are afraid of. There is no trigonometry, there is no integration, there is no quadratic equations, there is no problem solving, there is no algebra. Right, so the maths that we are all scared of, wo maths hai hi nahi CFA mein. Yes, like I said, there are numbers, there are calculations, but there is nothing that cannot be solved from a more logical approach. That is from a, you know, an analytical approach. Uh, you can also use directly the formula. And in fact, you have this calculator called the BA two plus calculator, which is to be used for the CFA exam. And there are a lot of sums that can be solved directly through that. Like you direct the formula is inbuilt in that calculator. Right, it's a special calculator, so feature mil jata hai. If I give you a proper breakdown, CFA level one mein you can say ten percent numericals hai. CFA level three mein up to five percent numericals hai. CFA level two mein up to fifty percent numericals hai. Yes, it is heavy on numbers, right? And still, even then, like I said, it's not that it is very heavy math. It is basic math. You should know addition. You should know subtraction. You should know multiplication. Ah, uh, thoda baat. Uh, once you're doing, if you follow the logical approach and not the direct formula, so hota hai ki yaha se gumaoge to multiply, divide, wo hoga. If you are too confused with that, then like I said, there are direct formulas which mein directly numbers plug in karke answers nikalne hai. That too can be used. I'll give you my personal example. My maths was very very good till my fifth standard, sixth standard also actually to be precise. Seventh standard onwards, um, I did not have the best teacher and that's why my maths started dripping. Even though I was always interested, somehow my grades started falling, right? Uh, but still, I cleared CFA level two, which is the heaviest on numericals, in my very first attempt. So really, being good at maths has nothing to do. Basic addition, subtraction, आता है और पेटी मत सॉर्टेड. और कुछ नहीं जानना. बाकी, you need to know how to use the calculator, और वो आपके लिए सारा काम कर देगा. Okay? So that has answered the first question. Let's go to the second question. That is. Can I switch to CFA if I'm from a non-finance background? How difficult would it be? So, I have actually seen a lot of people from different backgrounds, right? Engineers, art students, science students, switch to CFA, and they are actually currently flourishing in their careers. My own mentor, Manish Ramaka sir, has uh, had a engineering background, and he came to CFA, and he did it on his own. It's not that he took classes. So, ऐसा कुछ नहीं है that it's gonna be very difficult for you. Or if you've not done BCom, so you're gonna struggle. To be very honest, the plain BCom or the graduation level BCom, as we call it, India wala especially, is very very minimally correlated to CFA. You can say just ten percent. Baki ninety percent commerce students ke liye bhi nahi. It's just that they know a few terms here and there. You don't know a few terms here and there. It's just as simple as that. They might take two months to study. You might take three months to study. But it's not that it's gonna be extremely difficult. It's gonna be out of the world, etc., etc. To get the second half of this question, will it be very difficult for you to find a job? Will people not accept you in the industry, etc., etc.? Uh, the world we're living in, especially the finance industry, the investment in the industry, you would be more appreciated because you come from different backgrounds. You have the finance knowledge because of CFA, plus you have the knowledge of a completely different industry. So, for example, uh, engineering, right? You'll have Knowledge about so many other things. If you're a software engineer, you can talk about AI. You can talk about you know all these uh, algorithm tools, etc. So you are coming with a different set of extra knowledge. So you will be able to invest in those industries better. You can you can become a specialized investor 
in those industries if you were say from the bio department or from the pharmaceutical department and then you switch to cfa my god your value is so high because you already have pharma knowledge one of the highest paying industries and then you have cfa knowledge what will they say you can become a specialized investor in the pharma sector so sa bhi hota and in fact these people are highly 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 appreciated and highly welcome so please if you are interested in the cfa course if you are interested in becoming a portfolio manager investment banker uh, advisory consultancy getting into the finance domain and you are wanting to do cfa but are worried that you know just because i don't have a bcom graduation i might not be able to crack it then this video is specially for you listen to it twice you guys are equally welcome you guys are equally uh, going to get all the opportunities that those bcom students are getting if not more because you actually have an extra advantage that those people don't have they have only finance knowledge you have finance knowledge plus a knowledge of an entire different industry with that i think we're ending this video if you have any other questions any other doubts let me know in the comment section and i will definitely do my best to answer it as soon as possible maybe make a video on it also also let me know your thoughts on this particular video i'll see you guys very very soon if you like this particular video don't forget to like comment share subscribe until then keep sparkling and definitely keep learning